I'm Andy Obermiller with Street Authority. In this market, it may seem impossible to find something to be glad about, but I've hit on a class of companies I think are really exciting. I call them game changers. Now, Game Changer is a company with a business that's so strong, that has so much potential to disrupt an industry and a future so bright that its stock seems like it can only move in one direction. And that's why, as many, if not most, investors have been chagrined in the past few weeks with the market's performance. I have found myself to be heartily encouraged. That's because these game-changing companies have been extremely resilient, and a few of them have just defied market gravity and posted huge gains as the broader universe of stocks was flailing. And one example is Rockhopper Exploration. I came across this company while I studied a interesting diplomatic flap in the South Atlantic. I was reading the news and I wondered why are the Argentine and Venezuelan governments getting involved with a tiny little oil company trying to drill an offshore well? I mean, we're talking about a serious international dispute here over who owns the Falkland Islands. And the last time this question came up, Margaret Thatcher took Britain to war. So the only reasonable conclusion I could come up with was that this find had to have the potential to just be a game changer for the economic dynamics of the region. Now this dispute isn't settled and everyone from Hillary Clinton to the UN Secretary General has weighed in on it, but in the meantime Rockhopper has got favorable test results from its well and I closed the position for a 287% gain in less than 90 days. And it did it in a pretty lousy time in the market. Now these game changers, as you can see, are so compelling that I'm starting a new premium service that focuses on how you can exploit their potential and use these game changers to move the needle on your own portfolio's returns. I call this new letter Fast Track Millionaire, and I'm on a mission to find companies that swing for the fences. So let me just take a minute and tell you about four such game changers that I'm really excited about. Now the first is a medical company that's perfected detection software for cancer. It uses software to exploit the extreme diagnostic sensitivity of CT scanners and MRI machines. Now this software is revolutionizing the way cancer is discovered and successfully treated. This company's latest breakthrough is a virtual colonoscopy that is safer, more accurate, and far less uncomfortable than the incumbent technology we're all so familiar with, which is the optical colonoscopy. And this company also was just chosen by the U.S. federal government to supply VA and Department of Defense hospitals with its digital mammography tool. In other words, when the Pentagon needed a weapon to fight breast cancer, this is the company it chose. Now that's a game changer. In the area of energy, I'm increasingly excited about a small Canadian company that has a unique process to extract trace amounts of uranium from coal ash. Uranium, which is used to fuel nuclear reactors, occurs naturally in coal, and it stays behind even after the coal is burned. So this process this company has is so effective at getting the uranium out, and this material is in such demand that the Chinese government recently contracted this company to extract uranium from a 2.7 billion ton pile of coal ash in Yunnan province. Now this company can extract sufficient volumes of uranium at a high enough margin to earn a tremendous profit and provide China with the nuclear fuel it desperately needs. Of the 50 or so nuclear reactors being built on Earth right now, about half of them are in China, which has an evidently insatiable appetite for electricity. And so this company, this mining company that's going to extract this uranium is just an absolute game changer in that arena. Now speaking of an insatiable appetite for energy, the third company on my list is a leader in the biofuel space. Now federal law demands that this nation produce the fuel, that kind of fuel, but it's not what you think. It's not ethanol from corn, it's a type of biofuel that comes from the sugar in all plant life. Now for most of history, this energy has been functionally out of reach, but now this one company has developed enzymes that can unlock the energy and allow us to use renewable fuel sources in place of petroleum. And your car is already able to burn this biofuel, and the EPA, in fact, is currently considering raising the amount of ethanol that can be blended with gasoline to 15% from 10%. So overall, the production of this advanced renewable biofuel will surge from 6.5 million gallons this year to 16 billion gallons by 2022. And that's, just, that's a geometric, game-changing 
rate of growth. And my favorite company in this space has already returned a triple digit gain. Now the last company I like the last company I like controls a device that is vital to the survival of many nations because it solves their biggest natural resources problem. I'm not talking about oil, I'm not talking about food. I'm talking about water. Nearly all the hot spots around the world have water shortages. Every major freshwater source in the Middle East crosses at least one international boundary. And even in relatively more stable places like California, the simple fact is that there are too many people living on too little water. And the only solution, I mean the only solution, we can't make water, the only solution is to desalinate seawater. And the only way to do that is to use special equipment that makes the process efficient enough to be cost effective and one company controls that equipment. And that company is a game changer. Now I'll be going into greater detail about these four companies and telling you which companies they are in a webcast June 15th. And I want you to sign up for this webcast today. I hope you'll join me. I'm Andy Obermiller with Street Authority and I wish you many happy returns.